In this video I'll be showing you how to make a raspberry souffle. A souffle is a very light airy dish and can be both savoury and sweet and for this one I'll be showing you the raspberry one which will be a dessert. For the base for a sweet souffle we'll be using a creme patissiere. Creme patissiere is a very thick and heavy custard which we'll be later adding whisked egg whites to to give it the rise when we bake it. Begin by placing 250ml of milk into a pan along with 3 drops of vanilla essence and then place on the stove to bring to the boil. While your milk is coming to the boil, place the egg yolks and the sugar into a bowl and then whisk well. To see lots more cooking and baking, check out the other videos on the channel and while you're there, why not hit subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. The next stage is to add your flour and corn flour to your egg mixture and then whisk to a paste. It will become very thick at this stage but persevere and it will all become fully combined. Then we pour our hot milk over our creme patissiere base and whisk as soon as possible to make sure it's all fully combined and then transfer to a clean fresh pan. It's important that you change pans at this stage. If you were to use the pan you just heated the milk in, it's very likely that your creme patissiere will stick to the bottom of the pan and burn when you try to cook it through. Return the pan to the heat and bring back to the boil stirring continuously. It's important that you stir continuously to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and burn and also make sure when stirring that you cover all the bottom of the pan so that nothing gets left behind. Keep stirring until it comes up to the boil. You can increase and decrease temperature at this stage. Just be cautious as the mixture does start to rise in temperature that you don't leave the heat too high and potentially cause a burning. As your creme patissiere does come up to boiling temperature, it will begin to thicken quite a lot. It's important again to just keep stirring and never stop stirring. And when it has come to the boil, let it cook out for about 30 seconds to ensure all the flour gets cooked through. And then add in 125 grams of raspberry coulis before stirring well again. Remove from the heat, transfer to a suitable container and allow to cool. Then we need to prepare our dishes for baking our souffle in. Typically you'd use a ramekin, I've also here shown a little miniature pan I've got to show the variances you can do. Make sure you butter the inside library right the way up to the top of the ramekin and once buttered dust with caster sugar. The next stage is to place four egg whites into a clean bone dry bowl and then whisk up to a stiff peak. Once your egg white has been whisked to the right consistency, you should be able to move the bowl around without the egg white itself making any movement at all. At this stage, fold in 200 grams of your raspberry creme patissiere and then fold in well, being careful to take as much care as possible to not knock any of the air out of the whisked egg whites. The next stage is to place our mixture into the ramekins ready to bake. Place the mixture right in the centre of the ramekin about three quarters of the way full. Make sure that none of your mixture actually touches the edges of the ramekin as if you do this when you bake it it will cause the souffle mixture to stick to the side and then pull the souffle over and it will not rise evenly. Place your souffles in a preheated oven on 160 degrees celsius for 12 minutes or until risen and golden. Temperature and cooking time will vary from oven to oven, but if you look once these have been baked, it gives you a rough indication of what the souffle should look like once it's been baked. While the souffle is baking, get your garnish ready. As you can see here, I've just done a little pattern with some raspberry coulée and some creme anglaise, although you could just serve the souffles as they are without any garnish. This is just something I did to pass the time while the souffle was baking. Once your souffles have risen and nice and golden, take them out of the oven straight away. As soon as you do remove from the oven, they will start sinking, so you need to be quite quick at this stage. Remove from the oven, dust the top lightly with some icing sugar and then place on your serving plate and then make a well in the middle and then pour in some of the raspberry coulée and then comes the best part, digging in and eating. 
And that's how to make a raspberry souffle. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a share on your social media. And to see lots more cooking and baking, why not check out some of the other videos on the channel? And while you're there, why not consider subscribing? And why not check out one of the videos on screen now?